Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we will going to be learning how you can be creating a tip calculator based on the amount of bill, the percentage of the tip. And this was another homework problem. So this is a graphical user interface problem. So we are deciding to create a web form, Windows, Windows form application. I'm planning on calling it a tip calculator. I'm going to click OK here. Now the moment I click OK, I get my form, and on this form I'm going to be setting up my environment. So I will going to be needing three labels. One of my labels will going to be my amount of tip. Then I will going to need another label that will going to be used for my tip percent. And then I'm going to be needing another label which will going to be my tip amount. And then I will going to be needing a button here, right here in the center which will going to be clicking we will be clicking to calculate the tip then we're going to be needing text boxes so we're going to be needing one text box for the amount of bill we're going to be needing one text box for the percent we're going to be needing one text box for the tip amount so these are the items now just like in the past I'm just moving these a little bit to the right so that I can increase the font size of all of these components so I'm going to the font property and I will going to increase the font size from 8.5 to 12. Okay. Now it's time to increase the size of the button and maybe probably make it longer and let's change the labels on the text on the labels. So the first one will going to be the bill. Or as shown in the book, you can basically write exactly what is shown in the book, the amount of bill. Um, in the second one, I'm changing the text to the tip percent. You can change it to whatever it shows in the book. And, and here in the third one, I'm going to say just tip amount. And you can write whatever the book shows. Just so that there is some effort on your part. I'm just giving you a gist of what needs to be done. And on the button, I'm going to be putting calculate tip. You go, you're going to be doing this exactly the way it's shown to you in the book. I'm just doing a little bit different version of it, uh, but the idea is exactly the same. I'm changing the names of my text boxes. The first one I'm going to be calling txt bill. The second one I'm calling uh, txt tip percent. And then the last one I'm calling txt tip amount. So these are the names of my three text boxes. As you can see in this list, I have txt bill, uh, txt tip amount, and txt tip percent. So right underneath properties, there is this drop down box which maintains the list of all your objects alongside their names. So just wanted to show you that area as well. So now we're going to be writing our code on the button. If you have done the last example, or if you have done the problem that we solved in the in the previous one, which is the first problem in this assignment part B, uh, you would have uh, learned how to calculate or convert percents into decimal, which is a very essential understanding for this particular problem because here we will going to be converting the tip percent into its decimal equivalent. So that's why that problem is extremely beneficial to be solving this problem. Now in this problem, unlike the last one, I'm planning on using variables just so that you get used to using variables and not working directly with objects. Because working with variables is much more performance efficient than rendering the objects. So we're going to be declaring our three sets of variables here. I need to have two sets of inputs and I need to have one set of outputs. So total I need three sets of variables. I'm going to be dimming them. One will going to be my amount variable. One will going to be my tip percent variable, and one going to be my tip amount variable. And these will going to be of type double. Or I can call my, um, so these will going to be my three variables. Now the amount will going to grab the text from txt bill. The tip percent will going to grab its value from txt tip percent dot text but as we have learned in our previous example that we were going to be converting this right away into decimal value by dividing it by hundred 
So if it is 15%, what we're going to be stored in tick percent will be 0.15. Now what we need to do is we need to calculate the actual tip. So the tip amount will actually be amount times tip percent. It's generally like if somebody has uh, paid or had a bill amount of $100, so 15%, let's say, if, if, if the tip percent was 15%, then pretty much mathematically what we're doing is, what is 15% of $100, which is 0.15 times 100. And how did we get 0.15? We pretty much took 15% times 100, which later on got converted to 15 divided by 100 times 100, which was 0.15 times 100. So I'm just going over the mathematical explanation of these steps. So something that you might learn in your math classes and college math class and the algebra class or the business app class. There are different classes uh, at Gateway where you basically get exposed to different concepts in mathematics. So anyway, this is basically what we did. We took the amount paid times the tip percent. So you could write it either way, tip percent times the amount or the amount times tip. So this will going to help us calculate the tip amount. Now one last thing that we got to do is we not do we now need to throw this value of tip amount back in uh, the tip box. So in order to do that, we will going to pretty much take tip uh, sorry txt tip amount dot text equals to tip amount. So this will going to help us convert this right into it's going to help us throw the value of tip amount right into the tip amount text box. So next, now let's say if we tried for a hundred dollar bill uh, 15 percent comes out to fifteen dollars. Now let's say what the book is showing for twenty dollars fifteen percent comes out to three bucks. So this pretty much this application help you uh, enter a bill amount and help you enter a tip percent and then converts the tip percent into its decimal equivalent and then help you calculate the correct tip amount by the bill amount and the tip percent. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. Catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching.